the west, treacherous marshes, but to the east, the river Reutcher, the right. river which gives this place its name. Get on the other side of In our native okay. tongue, Bond yeah, Reutcher, meaning the mouth of the river Reutcher, becomes anglicized to Bond Prati. This castle occupies a strategic site, commanding, as it does, the entrance by sea to the port of Limerick. As you cross the drawbridge this evening, my noble guests, you may have noticed the murder hole. Through which boiling water or pitch would pour over any unwanted guests. However, as you are all friends of the noble earth, you are most welcome within the walls this evening. The first castle of Bonratty was built on this site in the year 1251 by the Anglo Normans. It was a wooden structure which was besieged and burned to the ground. A similar fate befell two other castles built on this site. The present stone castle in which we are all now assembled was built by Shirda McNamara in 1425. And for two centuries the castle was the seat of the O'Brien family, Earls of Poland and Kings of North Munster. And during all this great passage of time, Von Ratty Castle would have looked very much as you see it this evening. The Earls of Poland hunted the 5,000 head of deer which roamed the castle estate. As you can see, the walls of this great hall are adorned with the antlers of some of those great Irish deer or elk, for after its most recent restoration in 1960, its owner, the late Lord Gort, graciously furnished this castle with his own collection of medieval furniture and furnishings. You may wish to pay particular attention to the tapestries that adorn the walls of this great hall. They are mainly French and Flemish from the 15th and 16th centuries. Or you might like to admire this 16th century hand carved gala chest. The chest, as its name suggests, was a gift given to a bride as a dowry. Work on the chest will have commenced the day the bride was born, and the last piece of carving to be added would have been that of the groom's coat of arms. The panelling also contains some beautifully hand carved biblical scenes, including the crucifixion and the last supper. My noble guests, the outer liquid in your goblet is mead. Your mead is made from honey. Here, in our time, mead is very plentiful and is particularly favoured by newly married couples. For they believe the honey in the mead is good for virility. We're cousins. <laughs> and virility. More mead. More mead. More mead. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let us now follow the Earl and Lady as they lead us 